desperate times hit a humane society in the Wabash Valley. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Patrice Dayton. After an employee was charged with letting dogs loose and padding his paycheck, remaining employees now pick up the slack. News 10's Jessica Hayes spoke with the location's management today about how they move forward and regain public trust. We're at, at a desperate point right now. No stranger to hard times, the Clay County Humane Society asks for the public's help. We don't have dog houses for the winter. I don't know what we're going to do when it gets cold. Lately, the shelter received lots of bad publicity. Former employee Mike Sarles faces several felonies for allegedly releasing more than a dozen dogs from their cages in May. He made a lot of people mad. I think that's a lot of the problem because people that used to come down here regularly don't come anymore. Sarles was then slapped with theft charges. Police say a check of the shelter's bookkeeping showed he padded his timesheet and pocketed more money. Now finances are so bad, employees have even been using their own cash to buy food for the animals. We've got employees bringing in cat food, dog food. We purchase it out of our own pocket. Two employees even personally bankrolled the shelter's entire payroll. The last two payrolls have been paid by the treasurer, one payroll, and the president, another payroll. Those who still work at the shelter want folks to know they desperately need the public's help to care for the animals. We've changed our hiring policies. We've, we've changed everything that's been done in the past. We just would like pe the public to give us the opportunity to show them what we are doing. As for Sarles, they say the only way to fix their reputation is to move forward without him. He is definitely gone. Um, any employees that he brought in, they're no longer here. As they continue to look out for the animals caught in the middle of the controversy. In Clay County with photojournalist Ryan Ward, Jessica Hayes, News 10. The trial for Mike Sorrells is set for October 18th. Now, to donate to the Clay County Humane Society, and they need it desperately, or to learn more about them, just head to our website.